Today we're analyzing a company most of you probably haven't heard about, Nexstar Media Group, NXST. But with an insane dividend growth rate of well above 40%, this is a stock that must be checked out by every dividend investor. Nexstar Media Group operates as a diversified media company that produces and distributes engaging local and national news, sports, and entertainment content across the television and digital platforms in the United States. In this video, we'll go over the latest earnings report and use some of the most well-known valuation models in the world to see if the stock is fairly valued and if it's the perfect opportunity to buy. Going over the latest earnings report, we see the following. Fourth quarter, net revenue was $1.3 billion, down from $1.5 billion in the prior year. The net revenue comparison primarily reflects the year-over-year -year decline in cyclical political advertising. Although we saw a decline in revenue, when we exclude political advertising revenue, net revenue increased 4.3% year-over-year. In the fourth quarter of 2023, the company used cash on hand and cash flow from operations to return $137 million to shareholders through the repurchase of 629,469 shares of Nexstar's common stock and reduced debt by approximately $32 million. This is something that us dividend investors love to hear about. The CEO of Nexstar Media Group quoted the following. Our strong financial track record supports our commitment to shareholder returns and the enhancement of shareholder value. On average, for the 2022-2023 cycle, Nexstar generated $1.8 billion of adjusted EBITDA and $1.2 billion of attributable free cash flow. Over the time frame, we returned an average of $910 million each year to shareholders in the form of dividends and share repurchases representing approximately 77% of our average attributable free cash flow. We expect to continue to use our cash flow to maximize shareholder returns. When we go over the part about future forward looking, we can see that, based on the current outlook, we are establishing guidance for fiscal 2024 adjusted EBITDA in a range of $2.085 billion to $2.195 billion a massive growth from previous year. So let's start valuating Nextar Media Group using these valuation models. But before we do that, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of the week. Are you serious? Yeah. So on to the first valuation model, the discounted cash flow model. This model predicts the future free cash flows and calculates the present value giving us the stock price. By plugging in the historical free cash flow over the last decade, we can see and use this data to calculate the future free cash flow using a growth rate of 4%. For the terminal value, we make use of the discount rate of 9% and the perpetual growth rate of 2.5%, which is usually the rate the economy grows at. Now that we have the future free cash flows, we add them all together. By adding up the cash and cash equivalents and subtracting the total debt, we find the equity value. Dividing this by the total amount of shares outstanding gives us the price per share of $216.63 based on this method. Not only do I want to know about the future of the cash flows, I want to know if the dividends paid out are sustainable. We need to put the dividends per share next to the free cash flow per share and see how these two relate. Because remember, dividends are paid out of free cash flow. Combining the two, we can see that the free cash flow is well above the dividends per share. On top of this, we want to know how much of the free cash flow is being used to pay out dividends. Here we see that it's only between 10 and 25%, 2019 being the exception. This is a very low payout ratio, meaning that Nexstar has a lot more cash on hand that they can decide to use for other purposes, like reinvest it back into the business, pursue acquisitions or buy back shares. Next up is the dividend discount model. This model uses future dividend payments discounted back to its present value in order to determine the value of a company. We plug in the historical dividend payouts, giving us an average growth rate of over 30%. 
using a discount rate of 9% and a growth rate of 6%, which I think will be sustainable for the long term future, we can calculate the stock price, giving us a price per share of $238.85. The next model I would use is a multiples valuation model, which assumes that similar companies should be valued the same. My opinion is this model is not representative for Nexstar Media Group, so let's move on to the next valuation model. The last model I want to use is Graham's valuation. Graham calculates a stock's value by taking into account the EPS and current market condition, and calculates the upper bound of the price range an investor should pay for a stock. Throughout the years, this model has been revised many times. In order to calculate the intrinsic value, we take the earnings per share forward looking, multiply that by 7 times the projected growth rate, 6, which is based on analysts' expectations, and we multiply that with 4.4, the average yield of AAA bonds. Dividing this number by the current yield on AAA bonds 4.81, we come to an intrinsic value of $243. Like I said, this model is very market reliant. When we would have evaluated Nexstar Media Group using this model, say in 2020, the yield would only be 1.4%. When we plug that into this formula, the value would change a lot to $834. When we put all the used valuation models together, we come to a price per share of $232.81. With a current price of $163.50, this would be a great moment to buy, even when we use a margin of safety of 20%, suggested by Benjamin Graham, we come to an acceptable buy price of $186.25, which is also well above the current price. Soon enough, I'll be adding Nexta Media Group to my portfolio. Before you decide to buy in or not, please do your own research and let me know in the comments down below what you think of the stock. If you made it this far into the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. It would help me out a lot and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.